All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It's time once again to find some more goofs in Thomas and Friends. Today's episode is James in a Mess. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so at the beginning of the episode, we see Toby pulling into the station. Toby and Henrietta just arrived on Sodor not that long ago. Next, James comes up to the station. But if you look closely, we can see that his eyes jump up when he's coming towards the station. James wasn't very friendly to Toby. Yuck! What dirty objects! Toby was tired of being made fun of, so he asked James why he's red. But look at Toby's face. He's missing his eyebrows. <laughs> James, why are you red? James says he's a splendid engine, and he's ready for anything. You never see my paint dirty. Oh. Toby then replies back to James. That's why you once needed bootlaces. To be ready, I suppose. This made James extremely angry, and he left the station without saying another word. And here comes the next goof. When James leaves the station, we can see his brake coach at the end of the train. But in the very next scene, the brake coach is in the middle of the train. <laughs> James leaves his coaches at the end of the line. His next job was to pull a freight train. James hated pulling slow freight trains. Dirty cars from dirty siding. Yeah! Needless to say, James was not happy. And here comes another goof. When James is about ready to leave the station, we hear chuffing before his wheels start moving. Take a listen. <laughs> At first, James was only pulling a few cars, but as he made it to the stations, he would pick up more cars. At first, the cars were in a good mood. They were acting very good. But because James was in a bad mood, he was very hard on the cars. And this made them want to get back at James. Now, there's a goof in this scene that's very hard to see. Let's rewind it. If we look real close, we can see a string pulling James up the hill. Normally, a heavy freight train will set its brakes before going down a hill, but James forgot to do this. His driver told him to stop. Wait, James, wait! But James wouldn't wait. He was too busy thinking of what to say back to Toby. The freight car's chance had come. They were gonna get revenge on James. Hurrah! Hurrah! They laughed! The cars then pushed James down the hill. On! On! James knew he had to stop, but he couldn't. I've got to stop! I've got to stop! James had no control over the trucks and was flying down the tracks. But why is this signal at all clear. I think we all know what's about to happen. As James flies through the station, we can see that his brake coach has switched from gray to brown. And in the very next scene, we see a shot of the tanker cars ahead of James. But where's James? He's not in front of the station. We literally just saw him pass the station. And yet in the next scene, he's nowhere to be seen. This is a terrible goof. Now, everybody's telling me there's supposed to be a hand in this scene. It's supposed to be somewhere over here pushing James, but I can't find it anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and take your word on this, but someone please tell me where to look on the screen because I can't find it anywhere. How did that shovel stay on James's tender? And more importantly, how is James not more damaged than he is? His buffers are perfectly fine. I'm sorry, but to have that little damage for that big of a crash, this is definitely a goof. He had run into two tar wagons. That's not true. There were four tar wagons. James had tar all over his paint, and some of the tar wagons were destroyed. Toby and Percy were sent to help James. They came as quick as they could. Look here, Percy. Whatever is that dirty object? Toby and Percy tease James. But James is a splendid red engine, and you never see his paint dirty. James pretended not to hear Toby. He was so embarrassed. Toby and Percy helped clean the wreckage, and they took James back home. Now look at this conductor's feet. There's clearly sticky tack underneath. Well done, Percy and Toby. Sir Topham Hatt tells James that he needs to be cleaned. You must be cleaned at once. He also tells Toby he can get a new coat of paint. Please, sir, can Henrietta have one too? Certainly, Toby. Look at Sir Topham Hatt's chin. We can see a little hole in it. Oh, thank you, sir. She will be pleased. All James could do is watch Toby slowly puff away. Hopefully, James learned his lesson. And this marks the end of the episode. Okay, guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in James in a Mess. This episode had a decent amount of goofs in it, but I can't find the hand in that crash scene. Now, if you saw a goof that I didn't point out, as always, make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.